My experience with using lye without proper PPE, I was making a new batch of soap and wore my PPE throughout the entire process. I had finished the soap and begun cleanup. I thought I had removed all the unsaponified soap from my tools and began washing them. I removed my gloves during washing because they filled with water and did not put on new ones. Here's where I knew I messed up. I'm on the last tool that needs washing, and the skin under two of my fingernails began burning. I desperately tried to wash my hands to try to remove contact with the light. Unfortunately, my skin was already burnt and would take a couple of weeks to fully heal. It hurt terribly and made simple tasks really painful. And this was just brief contact with cool lye that had already been combined with oils, etc. to begin the saponification process. Had I worn my PP through the entire process, this would have been completely avoidable. Thankfully, I have never experienced direct lye on skin contact and I hope to never. I do not recommend using lye if you are not experienced in doing so, and if ever you do use lye sodium hydroxide, it is imperative that you use the proper safety equipment to avoid serious injury. Even when handling soap that has not fully cured like in the video, PP is required. The video is a rebatch of a light heavy batch that I attempted to repair. This batch ended up going in the trash, but PP was still required because it was not fully cured and was light heavy. Under no circumstances will we be held liable for your use of sodium hydroxide. This video is a personal experience for informational purposes only and is not intended to advise or provide guidance on use. Always contact the manufacturer for proper use of their products.